morning guys. So Dan's off right now picking up um, hood and hatch from Saibon. We're getting ready for SEMA, getting both of the cars ready to go. So Big Blue will be in Gear Wrenches booth um, in the North Hall. And then Baby Blue is going to be in PTP's, PTP Turbo Blankets booth in the Central Hall. So this is the first year we're bringing both of them. It's pretty exciting. Just a lot to kind of get in order. So October is always a very busy month because it is the final round of Formula Drift here at Irwindale. Then we have SEMA only two weeks two to three weeks uh, right after Irwindale. So this is probably the busiest month to date for me here at RAD um, because we are doing the 2020 livery unveil for you guys on Big Blue. Uh, super exciting. Make sure you tune in to Gear Wrench. They're gonna be covering all of it um, so you guys can see it actually unveiled at the SEMA show. We're really excited about it. I have the design in place. This year's theme. I don't know what I can say yet. I'm going to hold off from any of it because I don't want to give away anything. You guys will like it. I know that much. And it will be shiny, so I know you'll really like it. Yeah, so this month we'll just be really busy because I have um, quite a bit of like touch-ups to do on Big Blue after Texas. Um, kind of have like three out of four fenders that I need to get back to life and looking good again. Um, we just got the the panels back from JP at JV Auto Body yeah, yesterday or two days ago. Um, so nice fresh paint, ready to lay some vinyl. I also have some color books here from JP. Um, he does all of our paint. Um, I need to pick out exactly what shade of paint we're going with for next year. So got that going on in the background of things. Um, we also got our delivery from Montreux just this morning. First delivery of probably a few of them. Um, we just got, I believe it's our cast vinyl that I'm gonna be printing on and then also got the laminate. So um, that's kind of coming into play right now because I need to do some hard proofs of um, how my colors are gonna turn out and um, what adjustments I need to make to get it just right. And then um, we also have Supra shoes. So it does look like a lot because it kind of is a lot, but they are going quick. Um, we did decide to put together the promo for you guys. So if you buy a pair of our team sunglasses, the reason sunglasses that you guys usually see all of us wearing, um, they have Dan's driver number on there. So for a pair of our team sunglasses, you guys will receive 40% off of all the styles of Supras that we're carrying. Um, there are eight total styles. I've kind of shown these to you guys before. So 40% off of these if you guys buy a pair of team sunglasses. So we wanted to put that together for you for the end of the season and um, really be able to move these styles at the same time. So, but yeah, stay tuned. Lots of exciting things going on and um, just wanted to give you guys, kind of fill you in. Let me know if there's more that you want to see. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. Renee told you, I think. Um, I just was at Saibon, grabbed some hoods and hatches for the Supras for SEMA. It's gonna look really good. Fresh carbon. And then we have some surprises on the livery for you, so stay tuned. It's gonna be good. It's gonna leave! No! <laughs> Alright guys, say goodbye. Alright Martin, see you later. Hit me up if you have questions. Turbo. Check that guy out, guys. Fluffiest dog in town. Turbo. Just be a watchdog, okay? Tell him the story. Sit, Turbo. Sit. Sit, Turbo. Tell the people a story. Okay, the story Turbo was trying to tell you but got distracted was we put this guy up for trade because we're trying to find a hard top so we can do the world's lightest Supra. Well, no, just the one that we can make the lightest will be a hard top. We don't have the money to make the world's lightest. We'll make a really good one and a really light one. We're reinstalling interior. 
All this has to go back in the car. We traded it for a black 98. It's a right hand drive auto chassis. But we're not planning on building this right now, but we just thought we'd share the info with you guys. And so put the dash back in. Now we're gonna kind of throw the carpet in possibly and put some of these other pieces back in. And I keep running up stairs to get the rest of the parts. They're just in boxes and bins up there. Really exciting though. Black 98 hardtop. This one, we never got to like really do much to it. It just sat and waited, but it gained value each year because it's a Supra left-hand drive clean title. Hardtops are pretty rare, but when it's right-hand drive, it's not worth as much. So this, this car is not in the greatest condition. It's nothing wrong with it, but red, blue, like the guy's got some work set out for himself. He seemed pumped about it. I'm pumped about the other one, so it's even trade. We were on the opposite sides of the country though, so we each had to pay shipping. That part sucks, but in the end, we're both winning. And then, that's all. So we gotta get to this and install some stuff. All right guys, he's leaving. But I never have to say I sold another Supra because I didn't sell it. It was just a trade. For another Supra. Yeah. So it, it, it didn't get sold. Turbo? Yeah. What do you have to say? He's uneasy. He doesn't like the thought of a Supra leaving, I think. I'm kind of sad. We had big plans for this guy. He needs work though, the dude knows he needs work, but the dude's really pumped that he's getting a left-hand drive, five-speed chassis with all three pedals. Trans tunnel's already modified. He's gonna put a CD09 in it. He's got some work ahead of him, but he's got most of what he needs. And then he's giving me a car that's right-hand drive, a little cleaner um, than this one, but it's not a clean title right hand a left hand drive car so we each think we're getting a fair trade oh uh, what was i <laughs> yeah no not the gay oh it's, all, it's also not fully registered yet i don't think or he didn't pay it so i have back registration i don't know there's fun things about both of these cars but mine's gonna be a race car so i don't really need to register Hey everyone, it is Saturday and I am working on getting Big Blue ready. We have two weeks until Irwindale. So, um, trying to be a little proactive in that. Last night, uh, we were here a little late and I got these sponsor decals cut out. This is a diamond white pearl. Um, sorry, no, diamond white pearl is actually the color of my car. <laughs> this is um, diamond white, I believe. That's Avery, um, and all of our materials supplied by uh, Montroy. They're great, they carry multiple manufacturers, so it makes it easy for us to order through them. Um, so I have, like you'll see, kind of the cuts along here. Um, it's been really convenient the way that I did the livery this year because such large pieces on here that I don't actually have to mask them or use transfer tape. I can just take them right off that sheet, apply it to the Supra off of there. So that's worked out this year. It's one less step, which has been convenient and helpful. Um, I'm just working on weeding. This Rad Dan decal goes on his rear bumper. I'm sure you guys recognize that. This material's pretty old, but I love that color, so I make it work. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today. All right. Coming along slowly, I finished the driver fender, rear fender, got all of that set. I think I have some like other minor touch-ups to do on this side. And then the passenger fender set for the most part. Now I just need to move on to the side skirt. 
a uh, couple more touch-ups and then the bumper so it's coming along um you guys i'm no pro at this i'm just kind of taught myself as i went so um i picked up some tips from a couple of people along the way but it's probably really painful for pros or people who know what they're doing to watch this but i'll still share with you guys i guess how i kind of go about my process how we make it happen here at rad we're planning on next year traveling with uh, spare fenders the whole time um, so that we always have a backup. We tried to do that this year like towards the end of the season It worked out a few times made it a lot easier just kind of less pressure and um, you feel more prepared going to an event making sure all your partners are taken care of and that we're able to get the car out there on track um, representing all of them I am getting ready to work on the side skirt and um, figured I would show you guys what I have done I'm all out so I have to use a different type but I usually use um, a lot of the 3M there we go I usually use a lot of the 3M finish line knifeless tape I use that a lot over the years um, so what I'm doing here is I'll show you the driver side real quick so I have like this silver chrome shape cut out and then um, what I do is because the chrome I'm still not the best at it and um, I've found a solution where if I do a piece of chrome here trim it down and then have the other cut piece on top and seam it then the chrome tends to stay on the um, like curves like this that go in a little better so um because i i would always run into things where i'm like trying to stretch it or i couldn't quite um heat it up just right to fit into these crevices here so i do it in um two split pieces and i seam it right here and i'm not the best with the knife um like the pressure against the paint and everything like that so i always feel more comfortable using the knifeless tape it turns out really convenient for um stuff like that We kind of spread out the night because um, the new hardtop Supra, new old hardtop Supra is going to be delivered later so kind of gave me a chance to just hang around for the day and then uh, Chris Forsberg stopped by. We got to take a break, caught up with him for a little bit um, but I think I'm done working on the car for today. Just kind of been doing it like here and there as the day has gone on but um, almost all complete do a walk around for you guys nice fresh decals there got this guy here <laughs> um, yeah then so shiny um, I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is uh, finish off the front thumper and I think that'll be about it a fresh gear wrench for that um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, um, what I got for today and, um, we're going to do it all over again after Irwindale. So you'll get to see a lot of action with vinyl. <laughs> all right. Good night, you guys. It's late. The dude that's transporting never texts back, never answers when I call. Timmy, where the f*** are you? Maybe he doesn't have a clock. He says, I'll be there at 9 at night, which is already late, but like, whatever. You'll stay up, you'll wait for the super to show up. It's like 10.30. He never answered, called, nothing. And I was waiting and waiting, and that super is waiting. But he's a no-show, so... I don't know what to think. Probably he'll wake me up at like 2 in the morning is probably what I think. But hopefully he'll just show up tomorrow morning 
at a normal hour. So, uh, my phone is getting a text right now. It's the dude Luke that has the one that we're trading and he's kind of worried too. We're like, come on, because we, we just want the trade to happen, but I don't know. We'll, we'll update you guys tomorrow morning or in the middle of the night if it happens and I have to drive back here. I will video it, so. I'm gonna go home and go to sleep now. Good night, guys.